Hey everyone, welcome back to KK's Quilt Studio. This is Marilyn. Hey, we had a question the other day on one of the Electric Quilt Facebook groups. Um, someone wanted to work with kaleidoscope blocks. You remember those um, whack and stack quilts that you probably all have done and your material comes out looking like Swiss cheese when you're done because you're, you're cutting a repeat. And our answers in the Facebook group, well, were more about um, images and how to import images of fabric into the quilt rather than uh, some of the fabulous tools that are available in Electric Quilt. I know my suggestion, my initial thought was um, to use the Fussy Cut tool. Well, um, I, my little mind's thinking again, you know, it woke me up again at 3 o'clock this morning and said, well, hey, why not use the special effects tool in electric quilt. When you um, bring in a fabric, look at all the designs. This is, these are uh, selections from the tools and pieces of the same fabric. So you can get three different blocks out of one piece of fabric. And so I'm going to show you today how I used this uh, special effects tool. I bet you didn't even know it existed. So let's open up Electric Quilt and I'll show you how to do this. You're going to be playing all day with this fabulous tool. I know I get hooked on it and it's just mind-boggling the number of combinations you can come up with. So, okay, you can either click on your image work table or come down here and uh, choose import and work on fabrics. Okay, first thing we got to do is go somewhere and bring in an image, whether this is a scanned image or a um, image from a fab fabric manufacturer, you decide on what you're doing and I'm, I'm not going to cover today how we uh, import or save images. We've covered that in other videos. So I'm working with a group today that um, it's called Sea Goddess. This is from Clockwork Fabrics and it's a fairly new line and I'm going to bring in this little mermaid. So go ahead and click on the file and click to open. Okay, now we're ready. All these wonderful tools light up and let's go to our special effects tool. Under here, you'll see we still have our image. We have Filters, circular symmetry, and square symmetry. Now you can play all day with these effects, um, changing the fabric up, but today I'm mainly going to work with the circular symmetry. Okay, when you click on that tool, this little window opens up, and the first window we have a chain, we have a choice to choose different shapes. Now um, I don't know if she's dealing with um, dress and plates or isosceles. I think she's wanting um, this double triangle. So we'll click on that and then we'll move this out of the way to the side for now. And well, let's move it back because I want to show you how, how we get different versions. So right away it centers on the picture the image picture or image of the fabric that I have but if you left click and hold down on that triangle drag it around and watch how the screen changes so you can get varieties just endless possibilities when you drag this around and see what can I change there's that little fish that I showed you um, showed on one of the um, examples, but look, can you see yourself spending hours on this, twisting things around and, and just getting all these infinite possibilities of designs? Okay, now that we've, well, let's say we settled on that one, we can go to reflection. So that will reflect the portion that you have designed so uh, or that you've selected out. So this portion of the star is reversed and reflected here in the second star. So you get totally different. Now you couldn't do this on fabric 
uh, or out of the fabric because of course you can't cut a reverse of your fabric, but this can be printed out on some of EQ's uh, printable fabric. You can create your own fabric out of this. So I am, let's play around. Oh, let's go back to the isosceles triangle. Again, drag it around, reposition, and see what kind of images you get. I still have on that reflection tool, so if you turn it off, you'll see you get yet another design. So play around with some of these different shapes and see what you can come up with. I think I've given you enough, but don't be afraid to go into Electric Quilt and click on buttons and see what's all available in this wonderful software program. So you don't need to go out and buy um, additional programs that do this. I know there, I, I know of one that's out there that will um, do these shapes, but you have it right here available in Electric Quilt. So remember, go out there and see what you can come up with. All of these designs came out of the very same fabric. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel to um, catch any further updates or videos that I put out in the near future and click that little like bell. Remember, um, when you like a video, it lets me know that um, I'm on the right track or don't hesitate to call me with uh, a problem or a suggestion. Maybe I can figure it out. So until we meet again, I wish you happy quilting.